Hey what's up guys, Sunny Lee here and today I got my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and I'll be unboxing it and maybe I'll share some thoughts on why I chose this device over all the other devices that came out in 2020. Once again, I'm from the Philippines so I get this version, the SMN96B slash DS version. So this is the international Exynos version, which is slightly unfortunate but it's okay. The differences are quite negligible. Yeah. But it would have been nice because, you know, I'm expecting to use this phone for three years or so, maybe four or five. It just would have been nice to get all of that bleeding edge, battery life, image processing, and uh, heat management. And of course, processing power. But from the research I've done, the main difference just came to battery life and heat performance, essentially. But aside from those, I'm still excited for this Note 20 Ultra 5G. It's also my first 5G phone. The S Pen on my original Note 8 was already giving up. I broke it actually in half. Anyway, let's get to the unboxing. This Note 20 Ultra came from Smart Communications in the Philippines. So, very tight seal. We also have the box here. And we have the Note 20 Ultra right there. Oh yeah, there's a tab here, so you don't have to do it the peasant way. All right, so this is the phone. I guess we can begin the removal of the plastic. Yes. I think it's built in actually. There's a built-in screen protector. All right, beautiful phone. Oh, wow. That is that looks majestic right there. this here for now what else is in here do not accept if seal is broken huh it wasn't broken but yeah I think this is how smart presents their smartphones and one advantage this has over the Qualcomm version available in the Philippines uh, via Hong Kong resellers or importers is this type of socket so the Hong Kong version comes with another socket, which is like, it, you need an adapter to use it, essentially. I guess this is one good upside to getting the Philippines version. It's similar to the US version, however, um, obviously the CPU is, not, is the Exynos and not the Snapdragon. USB Type-C, and I believe this is a 25 watt, 9 times 3, that's around 27, 25 watts-ish. Somewhere in there. Okay, what else is in here? We got the charging cable, I believe. C2C charging cable. This is pretty short actually. This is like one meter. So you might want to buy extra ones. And I believe these are the 8kg USB Type-C earphones. Oh, okay. So there are some ear tips as well. There are some ear tips, so you can customize the size and fit. And here are the USB Type-C AKG headphones. It's nice that they have this in the box and, you know, some other manufacturers out there don't even have a charger. So, look at all this stuff. I guess now they don't have the S Pen tip replacements, but I guess they discovered that people don't actually replace the S Pen tips. All that often. For me, I probably only replaced my S Pen tip once in the past three or four years. And in here, I believe we have a case. Oh, wait, it doesn't come with a case. Okay. So I believe this is just some documentation. Interesting. I, uh, I saw online that there were other versions of the Note 20 Ultra that came with a clear case inside the box. So kind of weird that this one doesn't come with that unless I just haven't found it yet yeah here so this is everything that it comes with Ta-da! so the charger 25 watt uh, tips the USB type C AKG earphones uh, USB type C to C one meter cable and the actual device so let's try to boot this up for the first time ever so I think they usually check this at the store, so when you pick it up, um, actually my, my folks picked it up because this is a Christmas gift for myself, but yeah, 
it seems that it's already been set up and booted up but I might have to reset this just so I can set it up properly alright so I'm excited to use this Note 20 Ultra obviously you know one of the key selling points here is obviously it's a Note so it has the S Pen and I'm a loyal S Pen fan so I'm excited to use it really excited to use this I'm just a bit sad that they booted it up without me I guess this will be my daily driver for the next three years obviously for me this is the number one phone that came out in 2020 I guess no other phone comes close not just because of the S Pen but the overall hardware ultra wideband the wireless decks all of those I plan to use to some extent you know and obviously the hole punch is a very key feature here as well because you don't have that huge notch which other companies have and yeah um, I guess this will carry me over for the next three to five years so guys that's it for today's unboxing video I hope you enjoyed those are my thoughts so far on why I got the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and hopefully you know I mean it will be a nice experience and I'll see you guys in that next video please like the video if you liked it subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in that next video thanks for watching I wonder if it can stand vertically. No, it can't. Oh, yeah. No, no, it can't stand. <laughs> it can't stand on its edge. Nope.